Uh, yeah, I feel good. Feel a lot better, um, you know, than the previous week. So, uh, I mean, all signs kind of point towards uh, towards playing tomorrow. Uh, I thought today's practice was uh, was a good sign. So, what do you think the challenges are for this team the rest of the way right now? Um, I mean, it's just it's tight. Obviously, uh, these last 30 plus games, every game is going to matter. Every point matters. So, just making sure that we're playing uh, consistently, uh, starting games well, and um, you know. Just doing all the things that uh, that you know we do, we need to do, and, and make sure that we're executing every night. What about this team and the challenges it faces the rest of the way? Where, where do you see what this team has to do the rest of the way? Um, well, there's I mean there's there's a lot of good things we've been doing, um, and we got to just tighten up some things defensively, um, and I think we'll be okay. That's uh, that's the gist of it, I think. How is the foot felt? Are you going to be playing through a little pain? You have no, to the skate yeah, no, no, no. Foot feels yeah, feels ready to go. And seeing you in most nights after a game, you're you're feeling it some way or the other. I don't think this is going to change the way you play. Uh no, no. I'm uh, I go and I try to play my 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 style of hockey, and having this little injury is not going to uh, stop that. No. And some experience playing with Zach Hyman and a pretty good year in Hamilton for him and, and the rest of that team, if I recall. Yeah, uh, me and him played uh, together, uh, must have been almost nine years ago. Uh, so, yeah, I knew uh, I knew Zach from that as well. So how does this feel right now? Uh, no, I'm excited. Uh, it's great to, you know, get any opportunity you can. So I'm just happy to be here, and I'm just going to go uh, moment to moment. Is there anything extra just that you've, you've got, obviously, a connection to Nashville? Um... Not really, you know. I'm just comfortable with the city, and um, uh, you know, it's not anything different than any other city, though. Sheldon, as a coach, uh, you've had him, I guess, at three levels now, counting Marley's. Uh, how was he like as a coach? Uh, no, he's a great coach. Uh, he knows how to get the best out of every player. So uh, it's obviously shown. He's obviously progressed in his coaching career. So uh, no, he's a great coach. Your time in the American Hockey League. Uh, how? Unusual has this year been as far as the Marlies are concerned, given the amount of guys who've come up to Toronto with an opportunity to play at this level this season? Um, yeah, you know, it's been weird, but again, uh, you know, the AHL is kind of always like that. Uh, it's a league of up and downs, and you have guys coming from the coast up and guys from our AHL going up and down, and so it's, uh, it's just something you have to be used to, and it's no different on any other team. Important was a week off in terms of getting this club to reset emotionally, physically, and, and get ready for the final 33 games, beginning with one tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. We talked about that a lot before the break. Uh, you know, a chance to get everybody away and uh, regroup a little bit, in particular with how things finished off for us and get conserved us well. That last game when you said that it was an immature effort, what what did you mean by that? Can you expand on that a little bit? Well, just the fact that we we fail to rise to that occasion you know similar to the florida game when we, we talk about the importance of the game in the chicago instance it's the last game before a break when things hadn't been going all that well it was a good chance for us to finish it off the way that we would like to and we fail to do that and i think that's that's not what you want to be about as a team you want to rise to those occasions and you want to uh, finish the job uh, so the fact that we've, we weren't able to do that is uh, disappointing. But we think that's, that's where there's an area of, of growth and opportunity for our team. The mathematicians among us have figured out the points we think you're going to need. How are you guys looking at it as to what it's going to take to uh, number of points and wins to get back in this thing? We need to win tomorrow night against Nashville. That would be a good place for us to start. Uh, that's really what we can focus on. We recognize that you got a lot of games in a short amount of time here coming, and that's going to be a grind all the way through. We also recognize the situation that we're in in the standings and that it's going to be a battle right to the to the very end, likely. Uh, but we've got to focus on every day as it comes. And uh, we started with today with our practice, and uh, we, what I thought was a good and productive meeting to kind of set the tone for what remains and the, the job that, that that's ahead for us and also you know, we tried to paint a picture to our guys that you know it's, it's easy to focus a lot on how things finished in the last six games in particular uh, before the break there but you know that's a that's just one sample you look at a bigger sample and, and it, it presents a, an entirely different picture in terms of the progress that we've made as a team and reason for us to believe that we can uh, get things moving back in the right direction.